Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Humble Greatness in the building. Man, you already know what it is. I'm super excited. We got we got somebody who's super talented here with us, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Hey, hey, name's Tyrone. What's going on, y'all? How you doing? Yo, what up? And then you already know who this dude is, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. EKM, uh, yes, Wichita rapper, <laughs> yes, also sir. the owner of Wichita Promo. Yes, sir. Just got back fresh off the plane from Houston, Texas. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're we going to jump into that probably a little bit, too. For sure. <laughs> All right, man, where you been? What's up? Hey, you know me. For the people who don't know you, tell them who you are first, you know what I'm saying, like for real. Yeah, the name's Siron. Uh, I love to make music, so that's what I do. That's who I am. Uh, born and raised here in the uh, Dub K. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I did. I learned something. Yeah, okay. right here in Wichita, Kansas. Where'd you graduate from? Uh, Trinity Academy. Okay, for sure. Yeah, it's oh, a private sure. school. Uh, it's a good school, you know. Did you do sports out there? Yeah, everything. The whole works. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I love sports, but uh, I had a I had an injury that kind of prevented me from pursuing that. So, okay, that's, yeah, that's something that kind of got me into music, you know, because whenever you. you're so yeah. outgoing, you're in the mix, you're doing sports like that, you gotta do something. Yeah, bro. and then the injury <laughs> hits you that's life changing. It's like yeah. whoa, you know. Was it basketball? Uh, yeah, it's basketball. I got you. It's always okay. basketball. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I feel you. But yeah, I started hopping in the studio and uh, expressing myself, getting yeah, it all off my absolutely. chest. So now look where I'm at. Come on. Now, were you one of those kids that wrote a whole bunch in class? Or what? <laughs> huh? Did you like, write a whole bunch always. of Always. Hey, poetry. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Love letters. Like, you know. You know, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. I remember when I used to, I had this notebook, bro, and I would write yeah. in class. And I remember my teacher coming up to me. I never <laughs> forget this and being like, why do you do that? Like, it's never going to do anything for you. I'll never forget that. Wow, and what I was a like, hater. Dang, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. This is what I want to do, right? They're supposed to inspire. Yeah, man. But, you know, some teachers, man, they just, they thought I was a lost <laughs> cause, bro, for real. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. Nah, I, I wouldn't have believed it for a day. <laughs> yeah, man, it was it was different, man. Um, but yeah, I was one of those kids, you know, carrying around the notebook and, you know, rapping in the hallways, all of that, bro, yeah. beating on the lockers. Yeah, we did, yeah. We did all of that. <laughs> yeah, bro, we did all of that, man. So um, so uh, I wanted to just talk about, you had this run mm. probably about like a year ago, maybe a year and a half, somewhere yeah. in that ballpark, right? Yeah. Then I felt like you just faded away. So we got to talk about that. All right. All right. Put me on the spot then. <laughs> For real. So <laughs> like, like, and the thing about it, and the reason why I want to talk about this is because, first of all, you're super talented. Mm -hmm. um, but people also have to understand, like, you're a human being. You're not a machine, right? Yeah. And so since I mean, you're an independent be. artist, <laughs> you there's a lot of things you have to financially take care of in yeah, order to be thanks, an independent man. artist. And EKM can talk about this as well. So let's talk about kind of like your journey through this. So you start off with music. Where like what's the first let's let's start off with videos. What was mm -hmm. your first like video? My first video. Because we could pull this on YouTube. <clears throat> yeah, late shift. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's talk about it. All right, I right. know what it is. All right, look, look, all right, yeah, no. <laughs> look, the first video is late shift with uh me and my boy JR. Yeah. Um we kind of got together, you know, this is when we were younger. So we all had passions. We all had dreams and goals. We're like, hey, look, let's drop this track. It's fire. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? We've been in the studio putting in work. Uh, let's do a music video. Bet. So uh, that's what we did. Um, it was cool. Who shot the video? Uh, uh, Jacob. Shout out Clark? Jacob yeah, Clark. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. my boy. Jacob Clark, man. You yeah, cold, bro. <laughs> it's been a long time, man. Yeah. Hey, Shout out to show. Jacob. Shout out to Jacob. He's doing his thing. Is JR doing music still? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. Like he's definitely promoting. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, and we talk <laughs> every once in a while. He's like, yeah, we got to get locked into the studio. Okay, cool. It's just he's sure. so busy with these things. Yeah, you yeah. got to think like you were talking about earlier. Yeah. You said uh, I was doing all this for like a whole year run, and then I kind of dropped off. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not just me. Yeah, I, absolutely. You know, I you got to find that. other avenues to make finances because unfortunately, yeah. you can't just drop a track or drop a video and blow up and. Yeah, Shit. and then it's off the <laughs> not, Hey, not yeah. worry about a thing no more. You gotta, yeah. it's all steps, and, and you gotta take the proper steps and work with the right people. You know, that's Working a yeah. the right people's huge. Yeah, yeah, because you gotta think. Look, yeah, Jacob back then, you know what I'm saying? He was uh, doing doing his thing. Yeah. Now he's like, whoa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He everywhere now. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, you, you probably in the same boat, you know, yeah, Every, for sure. everywhere now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and so it's like, that's important. Yeah. You never absolutely. know who anybody is. You're right. Yeah. So, You're right. I feel like uh, I feel like connections are important, and uh, that's kind of what I focus on in the past. Yeah, uh, less financial. 
Uh, I don't yeah, know, for sure. You know, uh, but also I was younger, so it's kind of like run and gun type stuff. As I got older, it's like, okay, like everything I'm doing is great, but I want to hone in on my craft. I yeah. want it to look a little more like inspirational, you know, mm, not just like okay. anybody can do this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And so, and so okay. that's kind of why I fell off because I've been trying to find that growth. Yeah. You know, and, and so it, it definitely starts with the music. For and sure. I feel like over the years, my music is 100% developed. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and I can hear it on my stuff. I like the records. People tell, yeah, I, do. I like the records. Uh, <laughs> Things have changed. Yeah. You know, sure. but like you were talking about, finances is a, is a big huge, inhibitor. Man. Yeah, bro, you need some cheese. <laughs> yeah, you know, everything yeah, costs. Bro, it's like, yeah. uh, I know you want to give me a free music video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. But look, look, at that. Though, look, at look that. that's just not how to uh apple fall from the tree though. Yeah, man. It's a lot of work, bro. It's a lot in in when you paying uh when you paying people, I guess you can call us professionals, right? Man, that you're really just paying for the knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're paying for you're paying for the knowledge as an artist and you paying as an artist to you know, for the headache. So the headache of, hey, I'm going to go here, record my songs, and I trust you to make them sound the best, or, you know, yeah. I trust your input. Same thing with videos, man. It's like, because I remember when I was an artist and I'll be doing videos, and uh, the videographer, I'd be like, man, I don't know if I did this. And the videographer would be like, bro, chill, I got you. <laughs> like, if you was whack, Relax. I got you. No, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had to rerun that back. But it's, it's, I know as an artist, you might be like, ah, oh, man, like, did he get this? Ah, oh, man, I hope he puts this shot in there. Come on. Hey, I love this it's, shot. Yeah. We got to make sure this is in <laughs> you there. You got to make sure that was it. And, but, you know, when you're dealing with videographers that are experienced, but they got you, man. Fact, they got you, definitely. Bro. They got you. They got you. So, what you got? Man, um, okay. I don't oh, even know you put me on the okay. spot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, quick, no, quick, quick, fast, and hurry. I'm you in the same something. spot with you. I, I feel, I feel that. Uh, I've been, I've been told the same thing lately. People are telling me like, "Oh, you falling back," but they don't even know. It's like. Nah, man, I'm got like 50 records. Yeah. Right? I'm doing some shit. You're man. actually in the cocoon. Up. Yeah, the growth thing is is real. You know, sometimes you got to step back and uh, just kind of, I don't know. Sometimes you got to step back from releasing shit mm -hmm. to really grow. Yeah, like for a while there, when I was dropping like a song a week, it was I, I dropped some dope songs. I still fuck Absolutely. with all of them for sure. But I feel like taking a step back from dropping for a long while, like I have, I've built up some like crazy shit that I was able yeah. to sit on for weeks and really perfect. I don't think you're really appreciated until you leave either. Yeah, true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when you leave, people's like, "Dang!" And they see you out. They're like, "Yo, where you yeah, been?" And yeah, it's like, like it's been a long yeah. time. It went from every other week yeah, or well, every month to. <laughs> Yeah, like, exactly. he's like well, you know, every week. Yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing. So, like, when people can, it, music's music's kind of weird, bro. I agree. It's like if I'm in front of your face all the time, then it's like ah, okay. Yeah, he's but good though. Gotta, but like, yeah, like ah, we've seen this before. So yeah, you kind of gotta you gotta kind of play the game. It's like a roller coaster. There yeah, you go. yeah. Like and there's steps to it all. Right. Like instead of taking six small steps, I'm trying to take. One step, make my best step. Make the you best know what I'm step. Saying? Come on. Yeah, that's and, good. And, and that's so good. it's okay to fall back so that way when my next step hits, it's yeah. hitting home runs. Absolutely. You know? Come on now. Yeah. Come on <laughs> Talk to him. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I think it's a big deal. Like, uh, And then that's why people go and have second hobbies or, or second of professions. Course. Like, we got to have career. This could potentially be a career, but like, I'm actually passionate about this. Yeah. I you know, I could do this and not get any views. Yeah. yeah. You just want to do it. That's, I do it. Yeah. That's how I was. You too, know? And that's, yeah. and that's important because that's authentic. And, yeah. and I think people want to see that. I, I think there's somebody in my lane that's gonna hear and listen to everything i'm saying and absolutely be moved and that's so. why you'll have a lot of longevity because you ain't you know you in it because you want to do it you don't find i don't well i don't i'll speak from my experience i don't find a lot of people in the entertainment business mm -hmm. that do this because they love it yeah they're doing yeah. it because they want some clout it's a or, gimmick you know I'm they're a... trying to get some money they want a certain look they want to be I don't know, hugged and, and kissed when you <laughs> walk through the front door. Type, and that's you know what tragic. It actually ruins things for the but people who are passionate. Yeah, but, you know, people will, they'll love you all the way up and then tell you all the way down. You know how it is. Yeah. So you you got to just stay true to, to what you know when what you got going on. True to self, but I included you. <laughs> yeah. That's it, bro. I had true to let you know I'm coming you. through to you. That's it. So, uh, nah, man, I like that. Uh, tell me about, uh, I'm going to kind of hop over to him real quick. Man, tell me about Houston, man. What's up? <laughs> it's cool, He's been going man. to Houston like every month, for yeah. real, to do shows. Yeah. Dang, that's yeah. What's up, man? Uh, I think next month is Utah, actually, too. What? Yeah, for throwing, real? It, throwing it off a little bit. I didn't know that. different. Yeah. Absolutely. Are y'all uh, opening up for somebody, or do we know yet? I don't even really know, to be honest. Okay, yeah, I ain't even asked. But uh, You've never been to Utah, have you? 
Uh, not since I was like a kid. I've never been yeah. there. <laughs> man, me either. It's probably lit. <laughs> no, yeah, I heard it's beautiful and natural. Yeah, I want yeah, to doubt sure. it. But, Damn, uh, man, Houston's cool. Uh, we we just happened to go there this time where uh, we showed up on, you know, we left on Thursday. Yeah. Tornado-like storm hits on Thursday. Power goes out for pretty much our whole trip for uh, like half the city. That's we were terrible. cool. Like B&B had power. You know what I'm saying? But like certain businesses closed type shit. So... You know, like as I'm driving down the street, I know certain businesses are closed. Oh, 100 like, percent. Like we driving down oh. the street and it's like whole block dark, block lit, block dark. We like, oh, shit. Man, did right. the power go up? Yeah. Yeah. Some oh. some there was some bad damage and shit down there, too, for sure. But uh, yeah, storms pretty much the majority of the trip uh, <laughs> outside of one day where it was just hot as fuck. <laughs> Came back here, start storming immediately. It was like it was following us. It was crazy. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, Houston always lit. Like, I, I love that place already, man. That, yeah. that already been there like three, four times already, and that should feel like a second home. I, I love think, that shit. I think the crazy thing is, I think the crazy thing is this, because we, we had a conversation a little bit before. I'm going to go ahead and tune y'all in. Yeah. He was like, ah, oh, man, the show is decent, man. There's probably like 300 people. Yeah, that's like, crazy for what you're talking about. 300 people? <laughs> that's yeah. 300 people. We're good to go. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So it's just, you know, it's it's just, ah, uh, it's just a different, different ball game, different scenario, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I know that last one that y'all did, there's a band, probably about 1,000 people. There's a, yeah, that for place sure. Was packed. The thing I love about Houston is uh, what I was saying off camera to you, like, in Wichita, it's all kind of like, friend groups it's all clicks you know what i'm saying whereas in houston we go down there and uh like hippie k linked us up with a, a artist you know down there um mc gringo yeah and uh he, he linked us up with t2 okay and they were shooting a music video down there we pulled up to the music video it's like 20 dudes up there uh you know yeah. old candy paint car the shit look crazy yeah. got the slabs yeah, yeah. on Come it on. we yeah, shooting yeah. in front of that shit shooting the music video chopping it up with all them dudes and then we go to the show later on with slim thug Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, dude out here cooking on the grill, people over here taking pictures, vendors over here. And we start talking to all of them and they all know each other. The dudes from the music video, the dudes over here, the dudes <laughs> from the show last week. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know him. They're like, yeah, yeah, that's the homie from back in the day. And I started realizing, I'm like, damn, this city really like everybody who's working is tapped in. Yeah. They, they don't got to be friends. If you working, we working. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I like the fact that down there, like, it's really like. The hustle is different. It's they believe in each bro. other too. Yeah. It's they really believe in each other. They don't got to be homies. They can really just be like, "No, nah, yeah, he talented." He's talented. Fuck. I don't, I don't know him, but like, he hard, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they really like that down there, That's and I feel dope. like in Wichita we don't do that enough. Man. Yeah, yeah. The support is so dope down there for sure. Yeah, but I feel bro, like yeah. you know it also is because. We can name 200 famous artists from Houston. Yeah. We ain't got no, none true. from here yet, true. so we ain't necessarily yeah. got that yeah. like. And I mean, how much up. bigger is Houston than Wichita? Though? Right, right. For right. For you sure. know, so that means a lot too for because sure. all these people in one melting pot. Yeah. You got a lot collaborations of to pull from. bound to occur. 100%. Man. But yeah, traveling okay. is changing everything. That's the move. Yeah. 100% with the music. Man, I'm it, glad it, to hear that. Come on. And it was one of those things that, uh, you know, I had told him at the very beginning, I said, bro, you got you got to get out of here because you got to see. Yeah. I think the first time we got out of here was when we went to uh, Castle Row Studios in uh, Oklahoma, yeah. and that like changed. Yeah, for sure. That changed the game. Bro. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> that changed the game, man. It really opened up my eyes, and it's really I say this a lot, and it's it's true. And I I'm, I'm trying to get Wichita on board with this. Like, it's really hurtful to me when I can drive two and a half hours to a Kansas City or Oklahoma City, and the scene is just that much better. Yeah, mm -hmm. only two and a half hours. You man, know what I'm saying? and it's like, man, okay. So what are we missing? So I know that the local scene here. You know, I've, I've, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I've done everything that I can. Uh, more stuff is coming, but man, it's just, it's, it, it, it's still a little rough. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. I it mean, is, man. I mean, it's crazy it's whenever you got a, when you got a groups like he's talking about, and yeah. then you got talented artists that. Aren't getting any love. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know? Yeah, we got the talent. That's you a fact. Hundred like, percent. What are, what are you gonna do? Yeah. You know, and I feel like I feel like that's part of the rough patch. How are you gonna uh, infiltrate the next level? Yeah. You know, infiltrate the nation, infiltrate the world, if uh, if your most talented people aren't even in the limelight. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. not even pushing them, not even supporting them. You know. Yeah. And I think like that's why that 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 festival. That hip hop festival that's coming here, mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. It, man, it has to work. Yeah, <laughs> he said it has it to work. Ha I'm Big names you, are coming up. I know it. That's has fun. To work, that sounds bro. amazing. It has to work. If it doesn't work, man, 
I mean, the reason it yeah. should work is because everybody from all over is coming to see this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, absolutely. And, and then it's just a, a opportunity to collaborate. Yeah. You know, but if it's you on, but it's on artist, us. You feel if me? If you like, are an artist in the local scene, sh- spend the money and show up. Like, for real, please don't just sit at home because your name ain't on the bill. Like, show up, get out there and support this because this, it's, this is yeah. huge, bro. Yeah, this, this is going to be a big this deal. this doesn't work, it's never <laughs> happening again. It's not. No, nah, you can't I, say that. If I'm, say that. Not, bro. I'm most like, likely going to pull up to both. I'll most likely be there and at the show the next day that you know what I'm talking about. OT? If motherfuckers. If, oh, yeah. That's gonna if be I go, coming on Sunday. If yeah. I go to both of those shows and I see your ass at Mexican OT and I don't see you at uh, the, festival, the festival, I don't ever want to hear you bitching about the music scene here again i don't ever want to hear about river fest sucking none of that shit because this is the opportunity to boss this city up absolutely bro it it has to work simply showing up yeah hey it ain't too hard huh this the opportunity for sure i really want to i really want to know how that the thing that i really want to see is how it's going to be set up that's really what i want to know you know what i'm saying so with that uh that big festival coming uh next month next month Coming yeah, it's soon. coming quick. Yeah, I think it's the 21st, 22nd. Maybe it's like Friday by. or Saturday. Yeah. And then they got the Mexican OT on Sunday, and I believe that that's at the Cotillion. Yeah. So can I ask a question? Yeah, come on. Uh, yeah, no, I just want to know, you just said that you uh, you want to go see how it's all set up. Absolutely. What are you going to do with that knowledge? Like, if you're somebody attending yeah, the event, like, for sure. what's the next step for you after going? The next step is really like, okay, these people are coming out. Uh, who, who shows up for what acts? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, okay. who knows what? So then you can know kind of what people really like. And I think a lot of people, so what happens is if we get a, let's just say we get a mainstream artist here, right? And people go out and then you get in line and you ask people, hey man, what do you think about the local scene? They have no idea we even have a rap. They have yeah. no They're idea. They're not going to say anything. <laughs> They're, like, uh. They're like, bro, what y'all, like y'all got rappers We here? have locals. Like, yeah. Yes, bro. Music? <laughs> we got a ton. Rappers, singers, Poets, comedians, we got all of that. Thousands. Right? So like, and we're talented. So I think that that's the awareness that we really that we really need to get out there. It's mm-hmm. like, yo, uh, we have artists, and so like when artists do come in, that's why I, I always push for like local artists to open up because we yeah. got talent, bro. Yeah. So. And then they're able to bring a crowd, you know. Come on, absolutely. Next, yeah. Well, they're okay. gonna, well, a lot of them are going to show up anyway. They're mm-hmm. just going to show up, be in the crowd. But to just get them up there, I think the last time that I saw a really huge local push, this was, man, this was years ago at the Cotillion. Mm-hmm. And I remember T-Rail performed. And T. Grizzly came. T. Grizzly, I think yeah. T. Grizzly, I just got out, and he came and did, bro, there had to be like 15 openers. Yeah. And it there was, was crazy. A ton of, it was good. It was crazy, bro. I'll never forget it because I saw Plain View win crowd surf. Yeah. <laughs> and hey. I was like, I think that's the first time I've seen a local Look, artist hey, crowd hey, surf from you, Wichita, you think bro. You, you're nervous because you think he's going to jump out there? Yeah. <laughs> Plain View's cold, bro. Nah, he got he got lifted his up. Huh? His performance game yeah. is crazy, bro. And it his is hard. his uh his his scene, you know his his the people that support him, bro, is crazy. I'll never forget that. Yeah, that's <laughs> wow. Yeah, bro. He, Etched in your memory. He hard. <laughs> Super talented. So yeah, uh, man, we'll see. You know, I'm always trying to lift the local scene, and right now, uh, me and uh, EKM, we're just, we're trying to really lock in with some bands. We've been talking about bands a lot. Mm-hmm. Trying to rock, uh, lock in with some more bands. Um, he got a show coming up, man. Talk about it, bro. Oh yeah, I got, you got a show, an opportunity. Uh, yeah, I got a, a show. Uh, Cookie Store put me on to. Shout, Shout out, out to the Cookie, Cookie Store. store. Yeah, sure. yeah. Uh, the thirty first, May thirty first at Kirby's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't even know what time it is. I got to look at the flyer, it's but it's gonna be on my Instagram <laughs> later today. <laughs> but yeah, good. yeah. It's a it's a dope show. It's got a got a few rappers on it, mm-hmm. like uh, me, Giovanni. I believe Maurice might be in it. Um, cool. But yeah, a bunch of bands in it too. Phantom yeah. Black, uh, Apathy Unit, a couple others. I can't even remember off the Are top of my head. Are you about to do a song with the band playing behind you? Nah, not at this one. Okay. But we're going to organize that for sure. Because I've been dope. talking to somebody about that. That'd be so yeah. hard. Yeah. Just yeah, one. Okay. I don't need the whole set. I just wanted to say like, like, come on, now give it to us. Yeah. Dope, man. I think that, like, like when you start getting into that, I love bands so much because... It takes, you know, whatever, four or five people, however many you have, and they mm-hmm. all got to be on the same page. All the yeah. time. All the time. Hey, not just in performance, but also practice. Come on. We got to know your stuff. Come on. Yeah. So, like, that's why, like, when I go to, like, band stuff, I'm, like, blown away because I'm, like. Hey, he said, please work with the band, man. Yeah, bro, hey, yeah. get up behind so you. Tough, <laughs> that would be hard. Dude, that would be so cool. shows go crazy with the band, but with the rapper, sure. 
Yeah, bro, that's yeah. hard. That's for super sure. hard. Super hard. I don't honestly, I don't know anybody that's doing anything like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Either, so. Yeah, it's rare. I think even on a uh, Midtopia where they do like Shout those uh, kind of. Absolutely. I don't want to say it's Tiny Desk because it's, it's not. It's their own it's little tiny thing. Tiny Desk ish. Yeah, it's it's say. like a similar vibe. They mm -hmm. you know have the live band performing and shit. I think they've only ever had two rappers on there so far. Uh, Maurice and uh, uh, Sir Charles just did one. He did. I, so I, I think I, I that's it. Sir there Charles might be a couple one. others, yeah, yeah. but I that's the only ones the I've seen. It, but I did see some of that. Yeah. But Sir Charles, he he has a band. He has a band too. Yeah, yeah. So for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, was he had his own band. Yeah, that was one of the big things. He was like, man, hey. he's always wanted. To but do the stuff reason that the hasn't band. happened is not because of the bands. Because I can say that I know both. I know a lot of rock bands here. I know yeah. a lot of rappers here. It's the rappers' fault that ain't shit happening. I can see that. I can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bro, I can. I can't, you cannot get rappers to work together for shit yeah, here. Bro, I've been telling tough. you, like, it's I got tough. like 15 collab EPs and shit I'm working on. That's all me sending them them songs. I can't get nobody to send me shit. And you push Which is crazy. There's only been like, uh, this dude Ryan hit me, sent me a song. Shout out to Ryan. Uh, Rail G sent me a song. Shout out to Rail G. There's been like a few people here and yeah. there. Everybody hits me up to work, bro. But everybody wants me to write the song and they get on the feature. <laughs> it just tells me, I'm like, so you don't want to do work? no fucking work. You just want to yeah. get the little clout. You don't want to have to write very much. You want to keep it real simple and just grab all the fucking benefits. You're going to ask for splits, all that type of <laughs> Whoa, shit. Whoa, hey, asking for splits work. is crazy. I already know how all that shit works. I'm like, bro, don't nobody ever send some shit back? Oh Why don't we just do God. a trade like yeah, the trade industry trade does? or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, nah, I feel you. They just want the open verse. And I mean, yeah. there's they only probably don't have anything to trade. Yeah. <laughs> when somebody actually sends me That's something, I damn near don't even gotta like it. Just them sending it to me shows me like you serious. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I popped up some shit that ain't even necessarily my vibe. I'm just like, I like that you working. That's you feel right. me? Yeah. But yeah, shout out to the people that actually do. Come shit, on, shout man. out to Hippie K. He been sending me shit. Yeah, yeah. That's about oh, for it. real? Yeah, for okay. sure. That's cool. Yeah, Hippie K. Hippie He's K right. got a million songs. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Bro, he, bro, he has so much. It don't stuff, make no bro. sense. It's crazy. Yeah. It's and he'll have a he has a million songs and he'll tell me, like, yeah, bro, I haven't really even recorded in like three, four months. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> you, that dude, he, like eight hundred songs. Yeah, movie, he bro. has that many that much oh, music. He has so crazy. much crazy. The last project that he dropped, um, I was listening to those songs probably five months before they they came out mm -hmm. yeah just because he he is he releasing it all or is he just nah he's well, he's got it up in the seal i think with Locked hippie up. he's hippie's trying to do a lot mm -hmm. but he's trying to figure out what's worth his time mm -hmm. right now you know that I, I i think that that's where he's at in his artistry so it's not about i told him i was like yeah. man it's not about because he can make music. He's like a machine with the music. So, okay, you got that. But we don't want to keep making stuff, releasing, and it's not doing anything. Yeah, so that's so not I good advice when, to just you know, release everything. Started going out of town. Started getting these connections. Looks like they got another show in Utah. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I think that that's, he's trying to make it make it all make sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, he got a lot of big moves. I won't say Absolutely. Him, but he got some good I shit bet. coming up. I won't, I won't expose his business. But yeah. uh, Man, he got some big shit coming. He's just a... Uh, on, I said on Janae's podcast recently, like if I was, I'm a, I'm an artist here. I would love to say I'm the guy, but if I was going to bet on anybody to blow up within like the next year or less, he's doing, he's going to do it. Jeez. Man, hey, that's relief he to hear as an artist myself, you know, yeah. getting out of the city. Getting out yeah. of the city. You bro. know what I'm saying? Uh, inspiring people out of the city. Yeah. For that's sure. That's really it. Because, bro, especially when, especially when you're a singer, bro. And I think we, I think we had, the, yeah, we did, we had yeah. this conversation in the mall. Yeah, recently. And I was like, man, I don't think, and this is just me talking. Uh -huh. I was like, I don't think singers have expiration dates. I think rappers have expiration dates. Yeah, for I feel sure. that. So you don't think we expire? No, yeah. I don't think I'll be singers. 40 years old singing. Yes, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Marquise Houston on him. Yeah. <laughs> if you're good, bro, as a, it, it never, it never goes away. Yeah. Too. Okay, but, rappers, but you don't feel that like, way about rappers? Nah, <laughs> heck no. I guess it's because of the information they put in the music, right? Yeah. The, the, I feel like rappers just got to like, I feel like it's very few rappers that are able to like evolve with rap. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like it takes That's like a saying. Lil Wayne, like a, a Jay-Z, a, a Drake. People don't want to hear you it uh, takes stuck like in a, the same box. It's like, so and you, rare. It's, yeah, Snoop Dogg's done a whole need some bunch character of different development, stuff, yeah, you know? He done a reggae album. He done everything, bro. Yeah. So like it's... I don't. I don't think we're really. Cr Dang, I don't know how else to say this. I don't really think that the rap game is creating legends anymore. Mm. I just think they're just creating trends. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know what I'm so saying? So that's what makes the money. That's what makes the money. It's, it's rap is more like a right now thing. What's hot right now? Okay, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't see people. And I mean, I agree to that to a certain extent. Like but it's also like, right but now. it's also like we're saying these things. But honestly, in the past seven years, a lot of mainstream. In terms of mainstream, yeah. that's when they first started getting relevant, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's, we kind of got to wait a, a few more years and see yeah. where they're going and see where their minds are. Like Correct. Some people haven't dropped recently. You're right. You know, a lot of people aren't dropping. You're it's, right. The stuff we're hearing isn't really, like, fulfilling, like, the yeah. way you're talking about. But I also feel like this. I feel like, um, especially when you talk about the—I feel like the street rap that's, like, getting glorified on YouTube— mm -hmm is the same thing that a local artist comes in my studio and records. The oh, same exact thing. That, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of just like, I, the street rap lane might fizzle out, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like for real. You that know might be saying? a good thing. I and, swear to God, I think lyrics is coming back. And people, we, I think Wichita is just really behind on everything. We, are, we're about 10, we listen to years. old ass music. We listen to old <laughs> ass everything. All of our yeah. trends are like a little bit behind. You go to Houston, we're a little behind yeah. on everything. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Like on everything. We a little... That's like, why you was telling them get yeah. out there and see. Yeah, get we a little late on it, shit, man. but yeah. I feel like I swear I feel like lyrics and shit is coming back in hip hop. You just look at like not even I don't give a fuck about all the beefing and shit that's going on, but just the fact Come that on, like diss absolutely. tracks and shit like and that's who it is that's focused. beefing, you know? Yeah, yeah that's all Mark. lyrics. The top of the game. Come on now, lyrics, lyrics so coming back. For that's sure. what's getting popular, and also not only are the lyrics hidden. But the song is a bop too. Like, yeah, yo, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> so for yeah, sure. I feel like it is coming back. Um, I mean, there's I mean, if you got a hit, you got a hit. Yeah. Right? So but for the street rap lane, ah man, I, I don't know. No, I feel you. I'm, only, I, I'm a fan of a lot of that type yeah, of shit. Like I, I listen to it, but it's I, I feel you. I was literally thinking that on this trip, like driving back and shit, just sitting there listening to music. Mm -hmm. Like if I listen to it like 30 trap songs in a row, I start feeling so brain dead because I'm like, I just listen to the same beat yeah, 30 times, yeah. the same lyrics. same lyrics. I start getting like, oh, shit. Yeah, and I bro. make that shit sometimes, <laughs> but you got to switch it up, man. Yeah, like, for sure. so it's do you, a time and place So do you everything. think that uh, any R&B, like singing music is, uh, is coming back or what? Oh, for sure. I you know, do, are we on the rise? Yeah. R&B is like... It's, I know you say it's timeless, but I'm talking about the trend in terms is, of getting I mean, in the mix. It is, but... You talk about R&B kind of died low key. It's only yeah, Chris but Brown. There's still like there's still people there like is. I would say like Eric Bell. It's just it. changed. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, you can't really. You used to have like, like the Chris Browns <laughs> and the Ushers and shit that were like on the radio, yeah, and I feel was, like it's just changed. Them. Now you still got you still got huge stars like Brent Fiez or like yeah, Four Bats. Yeah. Like you still got yeah, dudes yeah. who are making Party next door numbers. Yeah. It's just like. I feel like the mainstream look has switched yes. more to like pop and hip hop. Yes, that's, but it's that's still facts. it's still it's still mad that. successful. Yeah. You can still go crazy because as an R and B artist. So the thing about it is, bro, they got R and B shows, they got R and B tours all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. you really just don't hear about them. Yeah, especially just you know it's on the low key. Yeah, yeah you got to you know be a fan, but it's still they, the yeah. fan base is still there. For yeah, sure. I think the but fan base in that in that lane is huge. Yeah, got to tap into it. And then also think about this: if you're an artist, you if you're an R and B artist and you're big, you're doing arenas, bro. You're not doing clubs. Yeah, mm. yeah. Rappers is doing clubs. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, I so, guess I wasn't sure. thinking you know like what I'm that. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. So you pulling in, man. Five hundred thousand people. Yeah, and you packing it out and yeah. doing your set. So, so yeah, if that's bro. the case, uh, yeah. that means you got to do one, do a be really good, <laughs> and then two, you got to figure out the uh, the formula. Yeah, for the sure, the blueprint. And that, I, I ain't got to do it. I don't got to drive and you know do these clubs and get paid this. This it's not little money, but it's not an arena money. Yeah, you know different. What I'm saying? So, I think it's just it's a different lane on how it's marketed and the finances. I, I believe are a lot different. So that might be why it's kind of like, man, where's kind of R and B at? It's yeah. still out here. It's hard to break through that barrier. Yeah. I mean, I'm an R&B artist myself. Hip hop yeah. is also like, very like, I feel like part of the reason hip hop is so in the public eye more is because hip hop is very easy to like put headlines out. It is. You know what I'm saying? There's so it much is. drama and I don't even mean legal shit. There, there's just so much little bullshit that they can post <laughs> about hip hop. You yeah. can sit there and scroll down like XXL all day and it's just headline, headline, yeah, headline. Sexy sure. Red said this. Drewski did this. They just got <laughs> mad little like, it's just like, it's so easy to make hip hop headlines. You know yeah, what I'm saying? you're right. There's so much shit going on yeah. at all times. <laughs> hip hop's just constant. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 kind of in a ratchet phase right now. For yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, definitely. It, and, and a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. So, yeah, I mean... Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But R and B wise, man, um, you know, there, I don't feel like there's too many uh, people here that do it. Nah, not enough in Wichita. But, but also, let's talk about just the artistry. Let's just talk about music videos real quick. Mm-hmm. I if I if I see if there's an R and B artist that's presented to me, mm-hmm. I automatically feel like the video. Is gonna be way better than a rap video. Yeah. Why? Why you say that? Because R and B, you just gotta handle it different. Yeah. You know? Rap videos, you just kind of get out there, shoot your stuff, whatever. Right. We could do a run and gun and be done. Yeah. But, but people gotta like feel the R&B, people gotta feel the emotion. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We gotta like they set gotta it fit, up. You gotta have yeah. the right lights. You gotta like it, it's just shot different. You know what I'm saying? So I think the I think the craft is well more respected. Most definitely, but that's why people yeah. don't get into it. Exactly, bro, because it's more work <laughs> for sure. Yeah. It's, I don't. It's easy to rap. It is, dog. We could go in the studio right now and make a rap song and put it out today. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and, and put it and, it'll and hit the music numbers. video. <laughs> Yo. that's what I'm saying. And it'll run up. That's the thing. Like, I feel like just with you know the R and B, bro. Yeah. It's it's more thought out. Um, and the game plan is just way bigger than rap. So maybe that's why a lot of people don't really i don't know get into it but i don't really feel like that there's really that many talented singers either yeah i don't well i appreciate that i'm included in yeah the you hard talented, for sure. you yeah know? for sure absolutely and uh you hard and uh all we got to do is uh keep developing keep growing yeah and uh figure out ways to dive into this uh city and outside of the city and actually make yeah, an for impact sure. for sure so yeah it's man you just gotta just keep pushing it keep grinding uh yeah. what you got next uh, honestly, I just dropped an album. Uh, you just boy, dropped an album? Yeah, with my boy Player Mate Ted. Yeah, For real? Yeah, yeah, it's called Player Dice. Uh, Gotta check it out. I didn't even know that. For real? Nah. I have, hey, how, hey. How, how, all how his numbers. 13 songs. Are you serious? Yeah, facts. Shout out to Tev. Yeah, most definitely. I appreciate okay. him greatly. Um, honestly. Are got, y'all both on all the songs together? Yeah, every song. Who yep. else do y'all have? Uh, also, uh, Artist Unknown. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's hard too. You okay. know what I'm saying? We got some hits. I gotta listen man. to this tape. You gotta yeah. check it out. Bro, I'm about to check <laughs> it out. Like, right hey, now. you pulling out his phone. I'm playing. I'm being serious. Yeah. Bro. So next we got What's some videos. It? Uh it's called Player Dice. Okay. Is you, you guys got Jacob Clark on the vids or what? Uh yeah, most definitely. He's gonna uh, be tapping in with the videos. You know, right? I'm watching, bro. Jacob, uh-huh. Jacob Hey, Clark all twenty twenty four we shooting. Okay. But yeah, yeah, uh, player play dice. Made, huh? Let me see. Oh, it's okay. Hold on. Hey, uh, d- yeah, delete that. It's out. player dice. Player dice. I got you. Yeah, it's hard. But yeah, we got music videos on the way, some content. Um, okay, okay. Honestly, uh, probably gonna be traveling, you know, to experience a little bit of life, so we okay. can get, uh, so we can get some inspiration for this type of stuff, you know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There it is, right there. All right. So I gotta ask: Is the change just for the cover? Or did he get that made? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. In terms of having that made, but yeah, I feel like it's a chain mm. is hard. I think it's <laughs> hey, I think it's for the cover. Yeah. Okay. For but sure. uh, but if it if it was made, Shh, man, I gotta Woo! see it. I want to see it today. Yeah. Hey, in that's real dope. life, that's, that's yeah. I'm really fucking dope. with Lotto on there for okay, real. I was gonna ask you that. Uh, wrist sex. Uh, I feel like lyrically, I I went crazy on wrist sex. Okay. Uh, so and then uh, also bucket list. The last song on there is is pretty. Uh, it's bumping. Okay. You know all right, I'm gonna saying? listen to this today. Don't sleep. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, for you. Sure. Absolutely. You know, for all y'all out there, don't sleep. 13 Make songs, sure you 42 minutes long. Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm listening to it today. <laughs> no cap, bro. For sure. Yeah. That's and, dope, man. Okay. Then, uh, in terms of in terms of uh moving forward, like I also got things going on on my own. Absolutely. Yeah, I got an EP coming here soon. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely a different vibe than what was on Player Dice. Okay, you know, for but sure. that's a it's still representing like who I am, you Absolutely. know, showcasing this aspect of myself that not a lot of people always get to see. Yeah. You know, so I'm excited to uh, release the EP and uh, hopefully get some uh, short clips, you know, something like Absolutely. that's something that I'm trying to get into is a 30 second, one minute video. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. I actually don't we even need, need the whole music out. video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, sure. let me just hit you with something real quick, give you a taste and then how you go look at the uh, song, yeah. listen to the song. Absolutely. You know, Smart. I'm looking for downloads. I'm looking to enjoy myself and like, I'm looking to... Interact with people like y'all and, yeah. and, in, and in public and people are like, wow, I love your vibe. I love your energy. Like, what do you do? Yeah. Well, absolutely. I sing. Yeah. You know, I make music. I want it all to be natural. That's dope. You know, the connections. I'm not trying to do this uh, 
gimmicky type thing all the way to the top. I wanted mm-hmm. to I want to build family. That's yeah. dope, man. So. That's dope. And you already know, man. I don't I don't ever feel like engineers get enough credit. So tell people where where was this recorded at? Uh, this is recorded at Parallel Studios. Parallel Studios. Shout out my boy Christian on Shout the engineer. Shout out to Christian, man. Yeah, he tough. yes, sir. He dope. Yeah, he tough. He's super dope. You do understand. Absolutely, man. Shout <laughs> out to Christian, Parallel Studios. Yo, I'm I'm excited to hear this, bro. Yeah. I really am, dog. I'm and excited I'm excited for the visuals. Like like you said, it's going to be a little different. Have you guys already shot them? Uh, we got two of them. Already down. Yeah, knocked out too. They fired. Yeah, but yeah. No, we got more <laughs> on the way. Yeah, he said they fired. I already know they fired, man. Hey, man. Jacob Clark, I need to come see you, bro. I'm gonna have to hack your computer and see. No, <laughs> and see them videos. <laughs> when are y'all releasing them for real? Uh, I'm not sure yet. We don't okay. got a date. Uh, yeah, we just want to keep uh, keep knocking them out. Good, you know. That's dope, uh, bro. Keep getting right, not left. It takes time to be the best. Yeah, yeah. It takes time and it takes a lot of reps. So, no, nah, I fully understand. I'm glad that Tev's still doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, how did y'all link? Um, I mean, I know y'all record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Apple, and Wichita's you know, small. It's just late. small, you know, so... Uh, like, why we, did you decide we've always to do seen each other with, with Tev? Out of all people, like, for real. I mean, he's passionate. That's dope. You know, and he's also real... You know, he's a human. Like, you yeah. were talking about earlier Come in the on, podcast. Bro. Like, Absolutely. I feel like being human sets you apart because a lot of people always, always got the facade on. They're always running the game. Mm-hmm. They're always doing this. You it's right. hard to just find somebody real and authentic. Yeah. So, when you meet people like that, you got to lock in. Shout out to yeah. Tev. Yeah, shout Absolutely. out to Tev for sure. And, um, and that, that's a that's a main reason why him and I chose to work with each other because, you know, he's, he could, I'm sure he would say the same thing about me. You know, that's what I'm dope, for sure. And, Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we just started working, getting in the studio often, chopping it up, growing, you know. Yeah. And next thing you know, we got. 30 songs. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, we're like, hold on, bro. We, <laughs> let's hold on. Let's relax on that. Let's get these songs in order. Yeah. Like, let's drop something with this. Like, let's start shaping something up. That's dope. You know, but yeah, we definitely uh, broke it all down to shape it up. Okay. You know, I'm pretty excited uh, to see what happens, but that's how we met. Um, started getting in the studio a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Took a few trips together and... Uh, Arizona? Yeah, yeah, yeah Arizona. Come on now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that? Come on, that was man. Crazy. I be chopped in, bro. We I had really a time. Be in. I yeah. know, man. It's dope out there. Most dead. It I is. enjoy the vibes out it there. Is, man. It's dope out there. Also, Texas is also a lit spot, too. For sure. The thing that's always crazy For with me, Texas it's the food is you can in Texas. Do, like, wow. You mm-hmm. can tour. You can be an artist. <laughs> you can be an artist in you Texas. You don't got to go nowhere but Texas. You never go anywhere else, bro. You can just tour in Texas. That's crazy. Cause like, <laughs> that's crazy. Mex- Mexican OT. I think when I looked at his chart, he had like seven shows in Texas. Seven. Yeah. And he had he had two in. in How the many same shows place. total though? Oh, uh, bro, I don't. It's a lot. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm not even gonna say, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. But seven in Texas. Wow. All in the same state. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Texas is so big, man. It's dang, bro. It's just so dope. Yeah. It's it's dope. It's dope. So yeah, we gonna see, man. The scene. The scene needs this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be excited whenever the videos come out. Um, yeah. I appreciate I really it. want to see them. Hey, yo, I'm excited, too. Just got to keep working, stand down. Keep working, for sure. And then you said an EP. When's the EP coming? Or do you know? Uh, I don't know about that Because this is, this is, like, fresh, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all fresh, you know? But, but that's the thing. You get in there, you get in there, you get in there, and then you shape the songs up, and you're like, okay, I got my list down. I'm ready to go. But then you're like, it's not the right time. Yeah. Maybe I want to make the videos first, you know? like. Yeah. Cause I want to be one step ahead. Like I said earlier, I want my, I want my my want my first step to be the best step, mm-hmm. you know. And maybe I don't have the finances for it right now. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Or or maybe uh, like I was saying, it's not the right vibe. Maybe it's winter vibes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the season matters. Yeah, I feel like it, it attracts different listeners. You know, maybe I don't have the right marketing person on my side. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm waiting on the connections. Maybe I need to travel more so that when I do drop, I got people from all over different states sharing yeah. for me. You know, this is a these are things I think about personally as an artist. For and, sure. And I, I don't have the whole game plan, but uh that's why I meet people like you and you and and we keep growing, Jacob, you know, uh, yeah. all these people that do have more of a plan to yeah, help my plan sure. be, come to fruition. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, but like uh for me personally, it's uh, as an artist, it's mainly about connections yeah. and uh, and building the genuine connections and then when you release um that spreads like wildfire. Absolutely. You know, if you don't have those, then when you release, you're not going to get the same type of love. Facts. And that's before marketing, before everything, you know? Yeah. Uh, back in the day, Michael Jackson, when he was touring, it was all word of mouth. Isn't that crazy? You know what I'm saying? Like, he infiltrated the world off of word of mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 
Whoa, and that's why he's one of you know not even one of the. That's why he is the greatest. So uh, extremely top tier. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we forget extremely about that. We forget that there's so much more in life than social media. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I always I feel like just the, the basic need. That's why I I miss the I miss the old days where you do a show and then afterwards you pop trunk, you sell CDs, you sell your merch. Like those were Come real days, bro. Yeah, <laughs> those were real days. Um, and so streaming comes in and it's really taking the one on one connection away. Yeah, that's why podcasting I believe is so is blown up the way it is because I can get on a platform and really speak my mind and people can connect with it. So it's kind of just... Yeah. And they're kind of like, oh, who? This is who this guy yeah, is. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? This person is. I feel He's like actually podcast. funny. He's actually a good dude. Like, yeah. yeah. I feel For like sure. this is really like the only un like unedited, unscripted like media nowadays, period. Mm. Like all the TV, Dang. radio, news, everything is like super, super scripted, cut up. Yeah. You feel me? This is like the only thing nowadays where people can tap in and literally just hear us talk for an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever. No cut, no filter. You feel me? Shoot. They really get like that's a true. serious idea of who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing left to do it. It's podcast. Damn. Radio and all that shit kind of dead. Uh. <sighs> Let's be real, bro. Oh, Listeners-wise, no. compared to a podcast. But yeah, it's, radio's coming back, though. close. Radio's a great way to, uh, to reach people, you know, and it is coming back, I feel like. You know, yeah. It's, it's it always depends. been relevant. I feel like it depends what I kind of artist you are. I think it's all about the playlist, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it is, uh, I think, you know, you get on a Apple Music, Spotify, you find some playlists that you oh, yeah, that, I mean, that's how I find new artists. Yeah. yeah. I find new artists two ways. Either artists come through and they're like, hey, do you know so-and-so, and they show mm -hmm. me their music. Mm-hmm. Or I'm at the gym, I got a playlist going on. I'm like, dang, who's that? Yeah. Like, that's I mean, that's how I find artists. That's really it. No, true. I mean, I'm not saying in terms of finding artists, but in terms of getting out there. Yeah, and getting emotional. your song out there. If yeah. you can get it on the radio, it's a rap. Yeah, yeah. I ain't talking. Yeah, I'm talking hey, like to I'm this day. Like, you remember back in the day, I feel like when I was a kid, like there used to be like interviews and talk shows and shit on yeah, the radio. Um, like I remember I used to be like sure. driving to school and I hear like you know, whatever famous dude interviewing Chris Brown for 10 minutes oh, on okay, the way. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't feel like that shit happens no more. Like, it's pretty much just podcasting. Like, yeah. radio is just kind of music, commercials. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. You shit right. kind of all like, all, all the like personal well, shit kind of died all, down. Yeah. When you talk about radio, you talk about uh, money, right? So, mm -hmm, I mean, yeah. labels are paying X amount of dollars in order to promote so and so's yeah. music. So, really, when I think of radio, I'm just like, okay, the big wigs spending money to, to you know yeah play, do whatever play the records you know yeah. what i'm saying like that's kind of how it works but i don't feel like i don't i don't feel like the radio breaks artists i don't not anymore if you yeah you already got to yeah. be popping to get on the radio yeah even if you got a shot but i mean even if you because you know sponsors are gonna pay money right mm -hmm. to, in order to have their ads ran or whatever so i mean if you play a local artist song on the radio you're you're losing money for yes, that. You're losing. You're not you know winning. what I'm saying? Well, so I, I feel like that that's why, well, here, you know what I'm saying? Especially for here, I don't really know how it works uh, elsewhere. I kind of know, but here in town, I believe that that's how it works. Yeah. So yeah. play, so yeah. getting on playlists, uh, if you're a local artist, yeah, definitely man, a better way to go. Playlist, man, for sure. Absolutely. Because then when I look at your song, boom, it's on so and so's playlist. And so I'm like, oh, okay, this is probably popping. Now let's do it. It's popping. I throw it into my playlist. Yeah. And then now you on, you know, I go to the gym every day, so I'ma hear it. Playlist, I'm a hear it. Hey, that's called playlist jumping. Come on, man. <laughs> let's go ahead. Playlist jumping. I love it. But sure. that's uh I I feel like we still all in the same boat, man. We all still yeah. trying to figure this out. There's no one way to do it. Mm -mm. But you just gotta do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, there's a lot of artists right now. Y'all are looking for the the magic thing there isn't a magic thing you just gotta just keep doing it over and over and love over. yourself first yeah absolutely. be passionate be, yeah that's it man yeah love what you if you love what you do then you ain't and, and, and never never look at how much you finna spend in this business bro because you <laughs> yeah. will go crazy yeah just <laughs> right. uh if it's hey. the next step whatever it needs to take the next step that's what you do because if you sit down and you're like man, use I that white this. out <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> You start sitting down, you're like, oh, a lot. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, if it's the next step, then it don't matter how much it costs. You just got to get it done. And so. also, it's okay to have a second, uh, you know, something else that you're doing also. Absolutely. You know, like, we got to be well-rounded individuals, uh, especially in this industry. Yeah. You know, you can't just be stuck on one thing. Yeah. Not, you know, so that's uh, that's why I dabble in other things yeah, as well. You got to be know? able to adapt. Yeah. You have to. You have to. So, anything else y'all want to say? Only other question I had, uh... 
you got any like artists you want to work with here in town at all? Oh yeah, plenty. Yeah, oh, you want to say some names? Uh, not necessarily. Okay, I nah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a I'm a real vibe type of guy. Like I like interactions in person. I you know yeah. who Lil Foe is? Yeah, yeah, he's hard. Who Lil Foe? Yeah. yeah, hey bro, hey, bro. I just said I ain't trying to say nothing. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna say that hey, for you. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for you. No, he's hard though. He's, he's doing his thing. Though. I saw some nice. of the videos going crazy. Yeah, he would yeah. go, man. Yeah, y'all keep working. Y'all two together would be really great, I feel like. You That's know? like an artist just off the top of my head that I could be like, yeah, mm -hmm. do something for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I'm always thinking about that. You know what I mean? I like A&R and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. But yeah, for sure. I think that's dope. So, yeah, man, we out, man. That's another episode of Humble Talks. I'm going to have everybody's information down below. Go ahead, hit us up, man. We normal people. We'll get back to you. Y'all take care. Peace.